as we continue to talk about one of the saddest times of our time, the loss of Michael Jackson. We got to continue to pray and be strong because one day our time will come. We have to be strong because our day is surely to come. We have to be strong, and we have to take responsibility for ourselves. I mean, Mike, he say this, he say that, he might be right. His family probably didn't support him. His family probably wasn't there for him. His daddy probably beat him and all this. But all that, you got to take your own responsibility. You might have had a hard time. Your family probably wasn't there for you. Your family probably dogged you. Your pastor, your mother, your, your father, your sister, everybody dogged you. But you're going to have to... Uh, Take your own responsibility. Get your strength up and move on no matter what. You got to think for yourself. God gave you your mind to think for yourself. You got to forget those things, as we always say, your past hurts, your past pains, your past disappointments, your ups, your downs, your lows. And forget about your present hurt, pain, and, and suffering, and losses. And clean up your hands and go to your future. Your future is brighter than all that. I mean, people now are saying, you know, Mike is without excuse. Because he could have went to God in prayer anytime. He could have opened his Bible, got on his knees and prayed, and God would have given him a victory through all that. See, that's what you got to do for yourself. We got to learn from this. This was a terrible experience that the world has faced. He was the greatest, greatest entertainment of all times. But it seemed like he forgot about God. You can't forget about God no matter what. Because you can be in that situation that your mama dog and your daddy dog and your pastor, brother, teacher, everybody. You got to get on your knees and call on him and get your strength up and do the right thing. Don't get caught up smoking and drinking, partying, doing all kind of sexual misconduct. Ah, God ain't saying none of that. And get a hold of yourself and get a grip on yourself and go forward. You got to pump yourself up. There's people getting rich in this economy. They millionaires getting made in the depression, in the recession, in the, in the collapsed economy and all that. You got to put your strength up. We just giving you a small segment of what we be talking about. In the end time news, as we call it, Jesus Return 911 Countdown. You got to pump yourself up and make it. Get a CD, get a tape, get a DVD, support the cause. We're trying to Pump you up and pump others up to make it in this time because it's rough times, it's hard times. Again, as we always say, forget those things in the past, your hurts, your pain, your situations, and your presence hurt, pain, and situation. And clean up your hands and go to your future. Your future is brighter than all that. Keep your head up and don't let nothing shake you and you can make it. This is your 911 countdown. Your Armageddon. You can make it. You can make it. It's your time to rise. Get up.